You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Joe Whalen. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. Well, not since the shorts were short and the hardwood was still maple as Fort Wayne hosted a professional basketball champion. The 1945 Fort Wayne Zollner Pistons champions of the old National Basketball League were the last to hoist the hardware in the Summit City. That 69-year drought on the brink of coming to an end courtesy of a franchise that wasn't founded until 2007. Year 7 has been a year of first for the Mad Ants, their first regular season title, first playoff series win, and a first appearance in the D-League Finals. Thursday night's win at Santa Cruz puts them within one game of their first D-League championship. You already know how this one played out. Game 2 in the Coliseum was rocking. Ron Howard honored with his co-MVP trophy before tip-off. And Howard looked the MVP part early. First judge of the night for Howard. Connects. Couple possessions later, Howard. Stop, pop, and drop. He was feeling it with the Warriors with their own sharpshooter, Seth Curry, younger brother of NBA superstar Steph Curry, and shooting apparently runs in the family. Curry with 12 early points. Santa Cruz was up 20 to 13. But as the quarter winds down, Tony Mitchell starts to heat up. First in transition. Sadio Rojas, no. Mitchell, the putback slam. And then later, more Mitchell on the break. Step back three. He had 25 points in the first half. Game high, 32 on the night. Matt answer of 65-48 at the break. But in the fourth quarter, Santa Cruz makes a run. You knew they would. Seth Curry, the catalyst. Kansas, fifth three of the night. And then later, Curry. If some is good, more is better. Warriors go up 105-103 late in the game. But like they have so many times this season, the Ants rally one last time. A minute to go, tied. Shot clock winding down, and Ron Howard drills it. Ants go up 109-107, and then less with 30 seconds to play. 115-113, Ants, Tony Mitchell, bucket, foul, ball game. At long last, Ron Howard has his first championship in the Mad Ants cap, a perfect run through the postseason with a 119-113 win. Here's the new champ, Howard, afterwards. This is unbelievable, man. This is what we're supposed to be. Uh, we worked so hard all season. Um, we're champions. It feels great. Uh, these guys, we worked hard all year to get to this point, and we got here and we finished. That's all we wanted to do. From day one, they all like to come to work every single day, get our work in, even when it's 15 below, and I'm, you know, chewing on them and, and yelling at them. They got their work in, and they realized that if they did that, they had a chance. I've lost so many championships. I, I just never thought it would happen for me. And the idea that this just happened with this group of guys, it's, it's unbelievable. And I, I've been so kind of emotional going into this because I love these players and these coaches and, and this staff so much. And I just wanted it to end the right way. And by God, it did. What a line. Can't get enough from the Mad Ants. We've got tons of extended interviews online right now on the sports page of Wayne.com.